Okay, so we're almost done classifying when a natural number has a primitive root and when it does not. And uh, we have the following proposition. So let's let P be an odd prime and N be a natural number. Then there is a primitive root modulo 2 times P to the N. Okay, good. So let's get going with the proof. So let's let A be a primitive root modulo p to the n. So by a previous result, we know we can pick a primitive root modulo p to the n. Good. And then if a is even, uh, we'll replace it with a plus p to the n, which notice a plus p to the n is congruent to a mod p to the n. So this is, an, this is another choice of a primitive root modulo p to the n, but it's also odd. So which is odd. So in other words, what we're doing is we are assuming that a is not only a primitive root mod p to the n, but it is an odd primitive root mod p to the n. Good. Now uh, we can notice the following. So notice that the GCD of A with 2P to the N equals 1. So it's odd, so that means it's GCD with 2 is, is 1, and then it's a primitive root mod P to the N, which means it's GCD with P to the N is 1, so that means it's primitive root modulo these two uh, the product of these two numbers is one. Again, we're kind of using the fact here that two and p to the n are relatively prime, but we know that. Okay, great. So the next thing we want to do is notice that since that GCD is one, then that means a um, is a good choice to look for it being a primitive root mod two to the p, two times p to the n. Okay, great. So now let's let k equal the order mod 2p to the n of a. Great. And notice that that tells us that a to the k is congruent to 1 mod 2 times p to the n. And also notice that the order of any integer must divide phi of, you know, whatever you're working modulo with respect to. So that tells us that k has to divide phi of 2 times p to the n. But that's the same thing as saying that k divides phi of 2 times phi of p to the n. Good. But phi of 2 is equal to 1. So that what that really tells us is that k divides phi of p to the n. Okay. And then also let's notice the following. So also notice that since um, a to the k is congruent to 1 mod 2 times p to the n, that tells us that a to the k is also congruent to 1 mod p to the n, um, which tells us that uh, p to, phi of p to the n must divide k. But notice what we have here, we have k divides phi of p to the n, and we have phi of p to the n divides k, but what uh, that leads us to is that k equals phi of p to the n, which is the same thing as phi of 2 times p to the n, which tells us that this a was in fact a primitive root, modulo 2 times p to the n.